Hello everyone. I am Gagandi. So this is the login screen. Let's begin with the user with role employee. We have a checkbox that allows us to keep the user signed in even after closing the browser. This is the home screen of the employee management system where the user can view its basic information. And then we have the search here. We can perform various filter based search such as search by name, last name, department, grade, etc. Such as if we want to search an employee by salary, I can perform search by salary. Or if I want to search for an employee based on his name, I can do the same. And then we have the leave management system. Here the employee can request for a new leave. This leave request is sent to the manager where the manager will approve our leaves. Whenever the manager approve our leave, our leave balance is detected. A user can request for a maximum of 13 days of leave. All the validations have been performed here based on start date and end date. And then we have changed password where the user can request for a new password and then log out. These are all the features that an user of role employee can perform. Let's begin with the user of role manager. A manager is capable of performing all the operations that a user can do. Along with that, he is able to approve the leave of his employees. So this is the home screen that a manager can access and then we have the search functionality where he can perform all the search similar to the employee and here he can request for a leave where the manager of this manager will approve the leaves and then we have the manager menu where he can see the leave request where all these sub employees have requested for the leave here we can update the status of the leave such as apply approve reject we can reject the leave and we can either approve the leave when the status is approved or rejected, it cannot be changed. The user will have to once again request for a leave. And then here even the manager can change his password using. We need to use a strong password if we need to change the password and then update a successful change method will be shown so these are all the features that are provided to the manager let's move on to the user with role admin an admin is capable of adding a new user editing the user details updating the role of the user and deleting the user So this is the same screen that's available to all the users. This is a simple search that can access by admin and here leaves, these leaves can be requested here by the admin. And this is the admin menu, which is only accessible to the admin. These routes are protected using root card. Here we have the admin search. From here, an admin can edit the role of the employee or edit other details. So let's edit the role of this employee. So the current role is manager. If I want to update him to an admin, I can do it from here. So we'll see a message successfully updated the user with the role ID. And then we have add. From here, we can add a new user. This is a two page form. Here we'll add the credentials of the user. Role password the password must be a strong password with upper uppercase smaller case here we have to enter all the other details of the employee here the date of birth and date of joining validations are added such as the employee cannot be less than 18 years of age And the salary must be in this range specified in the grade. Department here, here the manager list is 
download it dynamically these dates are validated such that this cannot be of any future date and here we will get a message successfully created an employee so these are all the tasks that can be performed by an admin the project is available on github you can find the link in the description below you can try downloading and running this project if you have any issues you can ask me any questions in the comments below thank you